about to look at another truck. Hopefully it's the one we're looking for. We've been looking for one the last several days here and we think this is gonna be a really good one. If it's not, looks like we're going back to the bank and canceling the check, but the guy sent me a test drive video, sent me some video around the truck, sent me a bunch of pictures. Looks like a good, good truck, sounds like a good deal. So but we're gonna go check this thing out. We're about an hour out still, and then we're gonna get there, take it for a rip, and hopefully bring it back home. truck I've ever owned. Just kidding, it's probably not the fastest truck we've ever owned. What truck do you think is faster? Uh, our, our Silver Bullet was a third gen 592 and that thing was pretty freaking fast. I don't know. That one was second gen swapped and yeah. lift pump. I don't know, but this would definitely have it tuning, working for its competition, trams. but I think Mordecai was stupid fast too. from your seat, bud. <laughs> Having fun? Mm. It's pretty awesome. See, that's what I did when I sat in it for the first time. I was pretty excited too. Pretty stoked. Mm. Okay, so while he enjoys himself 
behind the wheel of this thing. Let me show you around the truck. It's a 2005 5.9 Cummins. It's got a second gen swap. I'll tell you in the next video what turbo is on it. I don't really remember what he told me. It's obviously bigger than stock. It's got a fleece sump with an air dog lift pump on it, I believe. ARP head studs. It doesn't have a tuner hooked up. He said that if you did some tuning to it, he said this thing would be absolutely insanely nasty. This is just with the bigger turbo, bigger injectors. I, I have the whole sheet of everything that was done. I just don't have my phone on me. It's got a bunch of stuff done to it in terms of that. Firepunk transmission with the ratchet shifter. I've never driven one of those before, never used one of those style transmissions before. It seems like a very enjoyable way to drive the truck. So I feel like it's something that once you drive one with one, you're gonna want one in any more of your trucks with high performance stuff done to them. In terms of that, that's freaking cool. The truck looks like it has some pretty dark tint all around. I'm guessing it's like a 15 or 20% with the brow. It's dark, but you can still see through it. You know what I mean? So it's not like unbearably dark in the cab. It does have a couple of things that we're gonna do differently because I just don't like it. And that is the grill, the paint matching that was done was very cheap. It looks like it was done uh, like homemade with a spray can. Everything else seems Seems to be totally fine but the grill and the door handles the door handles whoever painted the grill they did the door handles as well so the door handles are just cheaply done so we're gonna take this to Miguel and he's gonna do that he's gonna probably do the mirrors the door handles sand those down and redo those he's gonna sand the grill down and redo that as well might see if I can have him paint match the lower portion of the bumper I don't know if you guys remember the Whistling Diesel Dually that we gave away. That one actually had the plastics and the actual um, chrome part of the bumper that was actually worked down and paint matched as well. So I think I kind of want to go with that. I feel like all white would look really sweet. Should we leave the inserts black or paint the inserts white? Let me know down in the comment section below. 20 by 12 Tiss Off-Road wheels on it. And I'm not sure what tires are. Otro street tires. I mean, these are just like your, you know, basically kind of like a Toyo Proxy or a Nitto 420. Just a street performance tire for heavy duty trucks. It's got the smoked out taillights, the Hoonigan sticker on the back, roll pan, and it does have the trailer connection stuff there. And the truck has a gooseneck in it. So that's kind of cool. I don't really plan on using it, but it's kind of nice to have it. And then it's got this really nice bed cover on it. And I've had one of these on one of my other trucks that I had my limited fifth gen dually. And they're, they're really sweet bed covers. And they're like the theft proof ones that way you can't like stick a knife and cut through it and steal your cargo out of the bed. So, I mean, it's a, uh, it's pretty sweet. MBRP exhaust on it. Um, truck is pretty darn clean underneath. Coming into the interior, the thing is really clean. All the windows work, the locks. Power mirrors don't seem to work. I don't know if it's just a wire issue or if somebody put a different set of mirrors on it at some point and they happen to not be power but uh, it does have the wiring for it so maybe we're gonna look into that it's got the far from stock bracket on there for the ratchet shifter uh, the wiring and everything was done very nicely everything looks in place and doesn't look like weird and overdone wheels in very good shape even up underneath here it's not all ripped up uh, the cover looks like it's been on there for a long time to protect the wheel so the wheel looks very nice dash is in really stinking good shape not a crack on it interiors in in awesome shape no rips in the seats or anything like that Coming in the back, we've got the baby's car seat, but there was no rips in the seats back here either. Video system, I haven't tried it out yet, but it does have the video system back here. Looks like the headliner is brand new as well because it doesn't look OEM. It looks like it's a slightly different tone. It's pretty freaking nice. And guys, when it comes to finding trucks right now, it's pretty freaking hard. These trucks are bringing some serious dough. Like I'm talking absurd amounts of money. I was looking at um, some fourth gens, some third gens. I was looking at a bunch of second gens because I love the second gen 12 valves. Second gen 12 valves, you like can't touch those things right now. I mean, I found two that I was like, oh, these are nice. And the guys wanted 25 grand for both of them. Two totally different guys. Um, they wanted 25 grand for them. They were like 150,000 miles zero rust, really, really great condition. 
but 25 grand was her asking price. And like a truck like my uncle's that just sold, that truck, you know, people are like, oh, 30, 35 grand, you're freaking smoking something, thinking you're gonna get that for a 60,000 mile from six speed manual, you know, third gen. I'm thinking, have you seen the market for the trucks right now? It's not freaking good. Like it's like it's good if you're the guy selling. It's not good if you're buying. I mean, I saw trucks like my uncle's with 150,000 miles, and guys were asking 30 grand. And so, if you've been actually in the market, the guys that are in the market looking for trucks, they know what I'm talking about. The guys that bought a truck two years ago and they're acting like the market has no effect and doesn't change over time with demand and stuff, you should take a look at trucks and start shopping around. It's pretty nuts. I mean, you're looking at 350,000 mile 12 valves right now with a little bit of rust on the fenders and stuff, bringing 10 grand. Like, it's, it's insane. Like, trucks that were five grand a couple months ago, they're bringing 10 grand now. Take a look at the market if you guys haven't done it yet. I mean, it is, it's pretty crazy. What better time to win a truck for the price of a t-shirt when they're literally like untouchable right now? Like it's, it's absolutely insane. Like this OBS compared to what I paid for it back when I did, compared to now, just a couple months later, this thing's probably gone up like five to $8,000 in value. Like that's how crazy numbers are just skyrocketing right now for these trucks. We managed to find one that wasn't a complete ripoff. I felt like it was a decent deal. Still feel like I paid a lot more than I would have a few months ago, but it's a good truck and it's gonna make a great truck for somebody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, the introduction to the new truck. This thing is so sick. Super excited about it. What kind of content do you guys want me to film with this while we have it? it I mean, I wanna have a lot of fun with this thing. This thing is, it's nasty. Thank you guys so much for watching. OBS winter coming next week, mid next week. So the week of June like 22nd to the 24th, we should have a winner for this truck. So stay tuned for that. Lots of exciting stuff going on guys. Thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.